Hi, thank you for tuning in and once again to Mama Sanity. Um, today I want to come to you and talk to you about, I don't know if you've ever heard the song called, um, it's a Christian song called Dear Younger Me. I know that a lot of us always wish that we can like go back in time and I've talked about that before, of course we totally cannot do that. But wouldn't it be awesome if like you could write a letter to yourself and be like, hey, this is what's going to happen. Um, this is how you're going to get through it, things like that. So um, I want to read this little letter that I got off of Pinterest and have some words of encouragement on, you know, not dwelling so much on your past, but moving forward. So here we go. Dear me, I'm sorry that I tried so desperately to fix others when your own hands were shaking. I'm sorry that I didn't give you enough time to heal that I let you seal the wounds of everyone else while your own were bleeding. I am sorry that there were days when smiling hurt, but you forced yourself to laugh so that no one had to worry about you. I am sorry that you gave all your time and effort to people that didn't give the same amount back. I am sorry that there were nights that you cried yourself to sleep and no one bothered to understand why. And I am sorry that I didn't love you like you deserve to be loved. I wanted to share that because I, I felt like it was powerful. I felt like there's, and me included, like there's a lot of times that people um, put on that smile when they're hurting inside. And, you know, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I mean, you shouldn't, you know, be woe is me and depressed and not continue about your day and not help other people. But this is kind of saying, you know, you have to take care of yourself if you want to help take care of others. So that's all this is trying to say. Um, the quote for today is, Clarity is arriving. Blessin blessings are coming. The pain you felt was mandatory to give you a fresh perspective on this new level of life you're about to experience. From here on out, keep thank you in front of your mind. Those words alone will act as a magnet to your success. I felt this fit in because it's saying even though that you were hurting, there was a reason why you had to go through that pain. Like I've said in the past, there's kind of a, a, a season, a reason for everything. Um, and once you get out of that and you heal, then this is saying, okay, now you're coming into a new season and it's going to be wonderful and better than you can ever imagine. And then there's one last thing that I want to share with you. It's this little poem called Good Night. Tonight, I look at my past as being complete. I say goodbye to all the previous mistakes and misfortunes. I now stand on the stage of a brand new experience. I will keep the lessons learned as a jewel that I carry with me on this new adventure. Tomorrow will be a start of a fresh new beginning. Carry a heart that never hates, a smile that never fades, and carry a touch that never hurts. All this ties into you can't go back and change the past. There's a reason why you go through everything. Take care of yourself so that you can help others and let go of the past and let go of your mistakes and failures and think positive and enter into the new season that you're gonna have with blessings and thank thankfulness so that you can be a blessing to others. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and stay safe.